Well, here I am on the optical solution stand with Cliff. Now, if you've read Air Gunner magazine, you'll know that I've reviewed the Thermatech Cyclops spotters, did them over a couple of issues. Absolutely groundbreaking stuff. Um, I absolutely love these. Really. I know they, they, they are superb. It's all done by this, this joystick button here. It's a push button and a joystick. Navigate through the menu. Absolutely, probably the, the, the simplest uh, thermal spotter that I've ever used. But the real reason why I've come here, and I can see them on the table, Cliff, tell me what's going on here, mate. Okay, these are the two brand new thermal scopes out from Thermtech. Um, so brand new, they turned up on Tuesday, so I decided to do the show on Wednesday, painted right. it on Thursday morning. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put my glasses on because I'm, I'm really interested okay. in this bit of kit. First company I've ever come across that have actually listened to the specs I sent them three months ago, and I've got everything down the road. Right. To start with, no internal battery, so no problem in three years' time when it's out of warranty with a battery dying. It runs purely off a single 18650 battery. That's pretty okay. cool. Or you have the option to use a slightly shorter gap and use an 18500 if you're the sort of person that cares that your scope looks like. Okay. With one of these batteries, you'll get a six hour battery life, four and a half hours with a smaller. Fantastic. Okay, first thing to notice is you can put it in any way round because right. it will still switch on and work. Because in the middle of the night, you're changing battery, you don't know which way it is, you'll put it on there. Brilliant. Okay, the cap is engineered out of a really well placed brass to go in there, a large enough springs that you can use any length 18650 battery, even the short flat tops will still work. Perfect. Okay, screws in tightly, it's IP67 rated, so it doesn't matter how bad the weather is, yeah, yeah. you can go out yeah. on there. USB port on the side yep. for plugging it in for downloading photos. All the controls are through this button. Um, that is a stepless zoom in and out up to six times okay. digital zoom. Well, that's okay. Nice. nice. <laughs> okay, like press and hold the button in the middle yep. and it will take you into the menu system. Okay, on the front of the scope, we obviously have the power on and off yep. switch and video recording. Yeah. Now, video recording and photo recording, even if you're video recording, it will still take a photo at the same time Brilliant. without interrupting the video. And on here is the button to turn the AI rangefinder on and off, the same we have on the spotters. Yeah, yeah. Okay, other than that, it's a pretty standard 35mm 384 sensor. Some of the things I told them on the specs that I didn't like was the cheap screw on eyepieces. Yeah. So now we actually have a magnetic one that goes oh, on and off. Nifty, so you, you can never destroy your lens. <laughs> Okay. Fantastic. And that's the scope in a nutshell. Yeah. Um, phenomenal performance. Sensors the same as in the spotters, yeah. which you really liked. Yeah. Color palettes, six crosshairs, and one of the crosshairs is a half mil dot graduated is first it? focal plane that zooms in as you do. That's perfect for us air okay. That's what we want. The first test I did with it when it came here was bolt it to a wall and go through every setting I can, and I couldn't get the crosshairs to move, so no problem losing zero. Excellent stuff. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Before, think, before we finish, Wi-Fi, obviously you can connect to your phone with Wi-Fi, yeah. but the traditional way of doing that is to make this a hotspot and connect your phone to it, yeah. but when you do that, you lose connectivity to the internet. Absolutely. This can go both way around, so you can actually use your phone as a hotspot and connect this so to multiple people so right. at the same time. Brilliant stuff. Okay. So these, these are going to sell like hotcakes, trust me, because the quality of these, yeah. these Cyclops spotters is absolutely off the scale. Okay. This one is both can come in either color yeah. just this unit is the Ares 360 which is functionally identical to this except for we come to the front right where we have the world's first optical zoom on a rifle scope, thermal rifle scope right okay it varies from 20 20 millimeters which is absolutely ideal for spotting and stand there and will then go to 60. Wow. So with 60 mil, we've got the largest lens on any thermal scope around yeah, yeah. for viewing range, where identification of a person is quoted at 1.5 kilometres, and, really? and spotting them, <laughs> spotting them is at three kilometres. Wow. So we can recognise a person at 1.5 kilometres. I think it, that's a bit out of my range yeah. for my sub-12. It, it's an f1.0 <laughs> lens for maximum sensitivity. Yeah, yeah. Um, shutterless technology, so no problem with it calibrating when you're trying to shoot yep. you simply close the lens double press the button and it's calibrated Fantastic. the other two said what's what's the rrp on on these i mean that's uh, going to be out of some people's uh, sort of uh, price range. rrp on the 35 mil is 2100 that's really good and on the 360 is 2700 pounds Fantastic. one one last feature they've got in there which was the last feature i put on my list that i wanted it actually has auto zeroing okay so what you can actually do is you can look at the target fire and it will know where the cross is where you fired it will see the bullet shot and it actually zero it without you doing anything else you don't whatsoever. have to move a separate crosshair absolutely it does it for you which means that if you're zeroing and you pull your shot to the side yeah 
the scope will know you pulled your shots aside, so it will zero it to where you're actually aiming at the time you pulled the trigger to where the bullet struck. Wow. So, totally and utterly idiot proof. Okay, next question, when can I have one? Okay, <laughs> these are the first two in the country, the next 200 are finishing production at the end of February, yep. so they'll be in the UK in approximately two and a half weeks time. Brilliant, I'll then, come up and see you then. Right. Nice one. Thank you very much.